Hello and welcome back to my channel. Now I don't know what order anybody has watched these videos in and if you are watching them when the other videos have gone out yet. I feel like I'm going to be saying the same thing in all of my introductions um, but firstly because I'm going to be saying it in all of them so if this is for whatever reason the fourth time you've watched this I'm really sorry. The lighting is terrible in all of these videos because I'm having to film in the UK at, in the evening with no like I don't have any big artificial lights I've just got a really really crappy normal light I'm very uh, amateur in that sense but I really really wanted to make my haul videos so I'm gonna have to break up all these videos into a whole four parts um, this is purely based on Universal the Disney one which I would have put up first I would assume will be the biggest one. There's not as much in the Universal, I mean there's still a lot, don't get me wrong. So I'm just going to crack on. My disclaimer that I'm going to put in all of these, everything you see here has been a year and a half in the making of saving our money and it is all me and my other half. It's not just one of us, we have done things separately so I will say kind of who technically bought it. So as with the Disney video, I'm going to kind of show you the free things that I got first. Um, I am a scrapper, collage type person, so some of these things you probably wouldn't keep yourself, but they will go into kind of a memory thing for me. So the first things are, I've got this little Harry Potter, almost like a ticket, the ride broke down when we were on it, so I do wonder if perhaps maybe that's got something to do with it, I don't actually know what this is, um, but it's quite cute, um, so I thought I'd keep that, but we didn't want to keep the ride photo. Um, I have... The, this is sound, this is how pathetic I am. We went to the ice cream parlour in the Wizarding World section, which is obviously all um, themed with Harry Potter. So I have got that from the ice cream that I had. Some napkins from Springfield in the Simpsons section because I thought this was really damn cool. Like, I know that it's just a napkin, but the fact that like they even went to the, the you know, point of doing Springfield napkins, I thought was pretty damn cool. Um, and then whilst we were there, we stayed at the Hard Rock Hotel for a night so we could get the Express Passes. If you are interested in knowing about how that was, please let me know and I'll be happy to do a video about that. Because obviously it was a very expensive hotel and I bought it for his birthday, so I was getting my money's worth completely. So I got the large kind of notepad that you get given when you're there. Um, I got the coasters. I took the... Uh, the cleansing bar and a skincare bar, which is quite nice. There was shampoo, conditioner, etc, etc, but I had to leave all that because um, weight was somewhat of an issue coming back for us, if you didn't already know. What else did I take? I got some tickets that I genuinely actually just forgot to put in the machine, um, and these are if you want to play in the arcades, in the um, in Universal themselves. These should have actually been cashed in, but I, I genuinely left them in my pocket, so I got them as like a little keepsake. I also have this, which is from Gringotts. What you can do when you visit the Wizarding World section is you can basically take real dollars and turn them into a kind of like a, a check kind of thing. Now, we were meant to spend this, but we genuinely forgot. So we technically, I guess I think it's $10, on a bit of paper because we were meant to spend it and we didn't. You get it in like this little Gringotts, I don't know, slip, something like that. And then you get, it looks a little bit like this. And essentially on the back it just says $10 because it is technically still money that you can spend. But yeah, annoyingly, we forgot to spend that, so that is $10. I mean, if they're still doing it next time we go back, we could always spend it then. I guess it's a keepsake, but it's also still $10 for a bit of paper. And now moving on to the things that we bought. Uh, in terms of key rings, I bought this for my mum and dad, if you can't tell by my YouTube name. My family surname is Blackburn, I am not married, so I still have the same name as my mum and dad. Um, and I got them this little key ring which says Blackburn and it has our coat of arms on. I don't know exactly if this is our coat of arms, it's very... Coat of arms are very strange and you can get quite a few different ones but they like this kind of thing so I thought they could maybe put it on like their back door keys or something like that. Um, and I think this might have been $8.99 or $9.99 and I got this from Isles of Adventure and it was a shop kind of opposite where the Poseidon show is I believe. I also picked up this Universal Studios keyring. It is a, like a gold plated one and it has the Universal globe but it is just a flat globe. You could get um, the actual globe, but I I didn't really want it. It looked a little bit like, it was like made out of rubber, 
So I feel like if I was to put that on my keys, it would get very dirty, it'd get very worn. I just thought this one was much nicer and it almost looks like it's kind of painted on there. And this was $9.95. Then the last key ring I got, if I hadn't have got this as a keyring, I would have wanted it as a teddy. And I know deep down I could probably get one in the UK in terms of a teddy and I didn't need any more plushies, as you will soon see. But I picked up this. I think this is so cute. This is my own little pygmy puff. I've not given it a name like a lot of people tend to do. This was $10.95. I don't think I'll use it as a keyring, again, purely because of it getting dirty, but it will definitely probably be out on display on my um, dressing table or something like that. The one thing that Universal doesn't have that Disney have is some form of object that kind of keeps everything in one place. The Disney World Magic Band is a godsend for that. Like you literally just have to keep scanning your magic band and you're good to go. Now when it comes to Universal it is based on a ticket uh, or a card. Um, so we had our tickets to get in which we bought from Attraction Tickets Direct and we also had our express passes which we got for staying at the Hard Rock Hotel. Which I found that having bits of card and little bits of um, paper was getting quite not tedious but I was worried that like they were going to start getting ruined because obviously it's just a bit of paper and it, it started to get dog-eared and we were going to be there for like three days in total and I said to Jamie I think I'm just going to have to buy some form of lanyard so we can just kind of scan and go and honestly it was so much easier so this is in the end after only three days of use our tickets were very much kind of they were quite good because like I say I used the lanyard but you can see like at the edges that's probably just after like half a day so after three days these would have been really really badly like used so they were our tickets and then we also got our express passes I don't think any kind of codes or barcodes would matter now anyway um, but I had the Incredible Hulk one and Jamie had a Harry Potter one you don't get to pick these it's just what they give you and then in the corner is just the hotel you're staying at so they just know that um, that is your express pass and um, that you are kind of linked to it and then for them to go into I bought a Simpsons lanyard which I think this is so cool um, there was loads and loads of lanyards to pick from but I am a massive Simpsons fan as you will see during this haul it comes with the lanyard and then you also get this little wallet at the bottom which you don't get on a lot of Disney ones and it just says Universal Studios pin trading but I got this purely for our passes I think it was $9.99 um, and I bought this, like like I say, on our first day and I wore it every single day I was there and it just made life ten times easier for all the tickets, etc. So I'm going to show you now all the kind of cup and souvenir drinkware that we got. Um, I feel like we got the most drinkware from here purely because I feel that this was more our... This is more our cup of tea. We are big Disney fans, but this has got more Harry Potter, Simpsons, um, like it's got like more movie things. I feel like it's a bit more us, if anything. So the first cup that I picked up was the refillable one that you can buy. The cup itself was, I believe, $16.99. And then the day you buy it, you get free refills throughout the whole day. And then if you go back to Universal, it is $8.99 to refill it again for the whole day. So in total, I probably spent like maybe $40, um, just under, which is a lot of money, but for what it costs to actually get the drinks for the pair of us as well, it made a lot of sense to get this. This one does come with a straw inside it. It's a very, very big cup as well. It's one thing I will say. Um, so it has the pull-off lid and then you get the straw inside it. It's got like all the different um, attractions to do with Universal. And as I've said in lots and lots of these videos before, I use these cups on a daily basis. Second cup that we purchased is mine. This was $16.95 and could this be any more me? It's pink, it's glittery, it's got Universal Studios. It doesn't look half as good on this camera, which is bloody annoying. It's very pink, it's very cool. I'm a big, big fan of this. Jamie picked this one up. Um, it was gonna be between a couple of different ones in the Simpsons area. In the end, we went for this one because this is for hot drinks. The one he liked, which was the Duff Can, is only for cold drinks, so we tend to take like um, tea and coffee out with them and things like that before we leave for work. So we picked up this one. And again, this was also $16.95, and it looks a little bit like this. It's not like super in your face, but it's also, it's a little bit boring, <laughs> is what I would say. It'd be good to kind of take to work. And it does actually have Universal Studios 
just written there so it is really nice and obviously this is rubber so this kind of is like a, a heat protector so even better really the next cup is my cup and I freaking love this cup it was a 95 and you could get a refill in it uh, I think it was like 99 cent if you wanted the refill but I chose not to bother because I had my refill cup and that is this amazing squishy cup it's of course from The Simpsons. It is massive for a start. It's absolutely huge, but I couldn't resist this. I saw it on like the first day and was like, yep, yeah, that has got to come home with me. The lid is a little bit weird. It's almost like, it reminds me of like a salad pot that you get. Um, it kind of just flips up like that and it's got like the little spout there. So I've obviously I've not used it yet. So I'm, I'm quite intrigued by it, but very, very happy with this for $11. I am so happy I own one of these. Carrying on with the Simpsons theme because, you know, you probably can't tell already how much we love Simpsons. Jamie picked this up and he bought this. Uh, this was again $16.95. There's a lot of $17 around here. Um, and again, another Homer Simpson cup. As Homer there, it's a really big cup actually. And then on the back it says, just because I don't care doesn't mean I don't understand. And it just has Universal Studios just in there. And again, just a really nice mug. We didn't buy much kind of this kind of stuff in Disney, so I feel like we kind of redeemed ourselves with everything that we bought in Universal. And then finally, these were kind of free, but not really free. We went to Most Tavern while we were there, and we were really lucky. Like, when we walked in, Most Tavern was dead. Bearing in mind, it was like two o'clock on a Saturday, and it was so quiet. We managed to just walk straight in. We went straight to the bar and we got to sit at the bar in Moe's Tavern. We had a massive Lard Lads donut and we got some Flaming Moe's. And they were very, very cool, I must admit. Um, so because you buy the Flaming Moe's, they clean out your cup for you afterwards and you do get to keep the cup. They're not very big um, and you can take this like middle bit out which it had the dry ice in. These will probably be more for show for us, but I think it's a really, really nice little keepsake that you can kind of have to um, to commemorate your trip to Most Tavern. And then a couple of bit of like, uh, just random things I guess you could say. These are all things that Jamie bought. Um, like I say, he's very much into his 80s films. He loves Back to the Future, E.T., um, Ghostbusters. So there are a few bits and pieces that are kind of themed around that. So the first thing that he got are these Ghostbuster cards. He is an 80s kid, he's a little bit older than me. These were like a big deal for him and these are original Ghostbuster cards and um, that even come with a piece of gum that is recommended that you do not eat it. I think these were about maybe six or seven dollars and like I say it was quite nice for him like he opened them up and he had a little look at them and these are basically the original Ghostbuster, um, I think they were trading cards back in the day. Um, so he was really, really happy that he picked them up. He also picked up a keyring. This is a Back to the Future keyring. This was $13, so it wasn't cheap. But obviously it's just got the um, date that, and it's just got the little Back to the Future thing there. Yeah, I think he was really, really happy he got this. And I think he'll be even happier that I can now actually give it him back seen this as well that this is actually technically Jamie's and um, this was quite expensive this was $29 and um, but he loved this when he saw it and it is a massive um, drink container um, it's basically one of them it's like vacuum insulated so it keeps everything really cold if it's meant to be cold and keeps it really hot if it's meant to be hot quite pricey but hopefully it will do the job and a nice little memento for Universal Studios he also picked up these socks. I don't know how much these were because he's opened them. These are, again, Back to the Future socks. He, quite novel, quite cute. He saw these and really wanted them. I just don't know how much he paid. I would probably guess maybe about $13. That tends to be the, the sock price at them kind of parks. I think ones I got in Disney were $15, so they were probably around that price. And then Jamie also picked up this. Now, this was really expensive, but I have never seen this before. He's never seen this before, and it's pretty special, and he really wanted it. Um, this was, oh God, I don't want to say it. This was $67, but it's so cool. We are obviously homeowners, and we like homeware, and it's nice to put bits of things we are into into our kind of everyday life. So he was like ridiculously excited when he saw this and this is just a big blankety throw type thing and it's a huge I can't even show you 
It's basically just a massive Back to the Future fro. Um, it's really thick, it's really well made, it's definitely not shoddy by any means. It's literally all like interwoven into the blanket. It's really very, very good quality. He has got this over like the sofa that he's got in like his like man cave room and it is so nice. Like, um, it's also really, really big, hence why I can't show it you all in the uh, frame. So yeah, very expensive, but definitely one of his best purchases, I think, on this trip. And it's one of the things where he really, really likes it. So that makes me happy. Last thing that he bought from Universal, like in like the, the bigger scheme of things, was he got, can you believe it, an interactive wand. This was one of the few things that I knew I didn't want from um, our trip. I knew that they were expensive and I knew that everybody gets sucked into buying one and I didn't want to for that reason. So naturally, my boyfriend did, um, which I didn't mind. Like obviously he knew what he wanted to buy. He picked his own wand. I can't even remember now what it, which one it was, how bad is that? It was Hawthorne. We read all the descriptions of like the like personalised ones and I think Hawthorne definitely described him best and then after reading it he kind of agreed. So it comes in the Ollivander's box and it's not like the most fanciest wand in the world but you know it has like the little interactive tip and it's just, it's just an interactive wand with you get the map as well. This was really expensive, it was about $50, they all are about $50. He was very very happy that he bought one and obviously if we ever go back we can use it again and it's a nice little keepsake, it's just a very very expensive one. The next thing I picked up was from Simpsons, everything is pretty much Simpsons now anyway um, and I thought this was so cool, this was $14.95 and I can't wait to get this out on display and it is a photo frame which says visit Krusty Land, the crustiest place on earth and I think that is so so cool, it's made out of like a rubber me material, it's nothing like fancy but that is very much my cup of tea, I can't wait to have that out and I'll probably have a photo of us at Universal in it. We also picked up a blanket, we are big fans of blankets, our dog who is here also loves a good blanket, so if you spent over $35 I believe it was, you got this for $15 and it's just a blue blanket that has Universal Studios written all over it. It's nothing, we thought it was going to have the big globe on it, but it didn't. It does just say Universal Studios, like, continuously throughout it, but it's very fluffy, it's very big. It'd be great for, kind of like, a sofa blanket. We are happy that we got this in the end, but it's not quite the design we wanted. We didn't get a blanket from Disney, so this is quite a nice one to have from the trip. I've seen this as well. I got a pumpkin juice from the Harry Potter section while we were there, so I did keep the bottle so I can put it on our novelty shelf in the kitchen where we tend to put things like this. It was quite expensive, I think it was about six or seven dollars, but you know, you do it once, you keep the bottle and then you don't need to have one again as far as I'm concerned. But I do think that the bottle is really, really sweet. I like this little pumpkin as well on top. Lastly, you are going to see some plushes now. We had a little rule on this holiday, I especially had a rule that I wasn't bothered about getting many plushes. I did buy Pegasus, wherever he is, there he is, because he's adorable, but we didn't care about having them. And then we walked into the Simpsons land and they have carnival style games and if there's one thing me and Jamie really love, it is a carnival game. Um, and some of them were easy to win, some of them weren't. So the ones that were easy to win we won teddies for it and being big Simpsons fans they were quite cool. Now the first one I wasn't bothered about so I'm going to show it you anyway um, but Jamie wanted this one. So the first one is Sideshow Bob. The only good thing about it is this hair is really really cool, it's really well done um, and it's just literally just the Sideshow Bob plush, very very cool. The next one Jamie won because he wanted it for the dogs um, and that is a big donut and it just has the Simpsons written on the back. You can buy all of these things in the shops. Um, I'm guessing that perhaps maybe these are ones that didn't make the cut or something and that's why they can give them away at carnivals. Um, not too sure. But that's the donut. We also won a Duff beer can. That one is quite cool, I will give him that. And then the one that I won, which was the one that I wanted to get, um, is this TV. And this has Itchy and Scratchy on it. I'm a big fan of Itchy and Scratchy in The Simpsons and I really like the fact that like it's in the TV and it just has Universal Studios on the back of it. 
and I'm so happy I got this one. This is the only one I wanted, all the others Jamie wanted to get, so I would have been happy with just this one, and you could win this one on a game that was really easy to win, so that was a, an added bonus. All the other ones, however, um, how we got all these back, I'll never know. Like, this is ridiculous. Four massive plushes, so we did quite well in getting them back in the end. That's it, that's everything that I picked up in Universal, or that we picked up in Universal, should I say. Um, if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. If any videos have gone up already, I will link them in the description box below. If all four haven't gone up yet when you are watching this, please feel free to subscribe. You can unsubscribe after the videos are finished, I won't be too offended. Um, but obviously if you do want to see everything else that I bought, please just give this a, a little subscribe, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Any questions, leave them in the comments below. And until then, I will see you guys on my next video. See you later, bye!